So now, your question was? The question is that, they said that um, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin, right? Uh -huh. And he come on earth, right? So um, Jesus Christ was born from Mary mm -hmm. as a son of God? Yes. Okay, let's get Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2. A lot of times the word virgin means a young girl. That's all it means. Many times people read virgin, they think, oh, Mary never had sex. That's not what it's talking about. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 2. You know what I want? It be 16. 16. 16. Come on. The book of Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 16. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. Listen good, sister. She's not going to listen. Jesus Christ, to be born immaculate, meaning you have no earthly father, means you are the nature of an angel. You have no earthly father. But this is what the Bible says about Christ's birth. But he took on him. Oh, read it again. For verily he took on, not on the nature of angels. Jesus Christ did not take on the nature of an angel, meaning no earthly father, no earthly mother. But he took on him the seed of Abraham. But he took on him the seed of Abraham. Who knows what the word seed means? You, the church lady, come, come, sister. What does the word seed mean? What does the word seed in the Bible mean? You've got two kinds of seed. One seed you plant in the earth, and another seed you plant in a woman. woman. What, a what is that? We call it a sperm. There you go, a sperm. Read that part again. For verily he took on not the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. The sperm of Abraham. How can he understand the thought of adultery if he wasn't like us? How can I go to a God who doesn't have the emotions or feelings like I do? He went through all things yet without sin. Now, did Jesus Christ have brothers and sisters? Why do you say that? You're guessing. You're not sure. Did he have brothers and sisters? Give me Matthew 13. You know what I want? 56 around there. Come on, come on, quick, quick. Did Jesus Christ have brothers and sisters? Yes or no? Oh, you're not sure? The clock is ticking. Ding, ding, ding. You ever see Japan? The price is right. The book of Matthew, chapter 13 and verse 55. 55. It's not. This the carpenter's son? So that when the people saw Christ, they said what? Is, is, is not this the carpenter's son? Isn't this the carpenter's son? You know what? They knew that Joseph was Christ's daddy. But we had don't know that because of slavery. They said, no, Joseph was not his daddy. Back then they said, that's his daddy. Read it again. Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brethren, James and Joseph and Simon and Judas. And his sisters, are they not all with us? Christ had a full family of brothers and sisters, a mother and a father. That makes him a perfect high priest. Christ! Say it again. Yes, he had brothers and sisters, a father and a mother. Now, what was your question? Jesus of Nazareth, man, breaking out of church. Huh? Jesus of a father. Yes, give me John 1 45. Come on. John 1, that's what we were just explaining. You weren't paying attention, right? You, you were talking, you were talking. Listen good, John 1, 45. The book of St. John. No, 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 you're doing it again. You're doing it again, brother. You're not listening. Listen good. Wow. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 45. Philip finds the Daniel and said unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth. The son of Joseph. The son of who? The son of Joseph. You see what the Bible calls him? The son of Joseph. Why does the Roman Catholic Church not teach that? That's right. The Roman Catholic Church is based upon ancient Egyptian doctrine. That's right. Isis, Horus, and Seth. Egyptian Trinity. That's what Christianity has got us all under that spell. Now we must wake up. Young ladies, I got a question. Yes, what is your question? Who is the father of Christ? Is that your question? Did we just ask uh, Who? Before Jesus was born. What do you mean? Who was his father before he was born? Or are you about the heavenly father? Yes. Remember they called him the son of God and the son of man. He was called the son of man because he was the son of Joseph. He is also the son of God because he is an extension of the most high God. People always forget that he was called the son of man. They ignore that.
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.